What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another dope episode of Hanging with Fame. I'm here with Slim Sosa. Pop. This is the dopest media platform ever. URM Underground Radar. Let's get it. Alright, so we're gonna jump back in on that first question now. Now how'd you get your start? Um, just fucking around with it, you know, 16, got kicked out of school, man, just at the time, man, I ain't had nothing to do, sitting in my room all day, man, so I just started writing, you know what I mean, and just just took it seriously every now and then, I mean, since then, you know what I mean? Right, right, well, would you stand in North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. Okay. Well, well when I was 16, I was standing in Seaboard, North Carolina, but it's still, okay. still right away. Okay, so that's what you, <clears throat> what motivated you to start writing? Man, you know what, man? Pops and them ain't have ain't have enough transportation to um keep current back to back um basketball practice. So I guess man when shit a badass make a soft ass, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I guess that was the um the punishment. So it still ain't stopped me, man. I just start writing and just you know what I mean, writing about my, my life situations, what happened and man shit that shit started giving me chills, so I knew I had it ever since. Right. You still play ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still kicking the guys. <laughs> Can't be famous. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, what was that trying? Like, you stopped playing basketball while you was all, to start rapping, or did? Nah, nah, you... nah, nah. I was doing it all together. Doing okay. it all together, man. Playing in snow. Okay. You know, little kids, man. Just ain't had nothing to do in the country on the railroad tracks, man. Just, just doing it, man. Bored. Getting uh-huh. in the shit. All right. What was your environment that you grew up in? Like, uh, what was cats listening to? Not cats. What was your um, mom's and pop specifically? What was my mama, um, my mama, she like Biggie, a big, a big okay. B.I.G. fan, and my pops, um, he, he, um, let me see, man, um, David Hollister, you know, what I mean, I called him listening to David Hollister one day, and I mean, that's the only thing I like rap. You know what I'm saying? I know, he, I know he like rap, but other than his his favorite artists, I don't know. <laughs> All right, uh. What was your introduction to hip hop then? Like, who was with some of the first artists that you heard that you you could vibe that out? Boy, that boy KRS One. Okay. Man, KRS One went dumb and did um Be Real. I mean, I used to smoke weed, and listen to Be Real, man. Cyrus, Cyrus Hill. So, you know, what I mean, Pop, Biggie, mm-hmm. you know, um, the whole and the whole NWA. So, mm-hmm. like, Ludacris was my biggest favorite artist. Like, okay. growing up, All you right. know, Wayne. Right. All them cats, man. Right. Uh, what was some of the first you you brought albums before? What would be your first? What is your first album you brought? Um, at Fifty Cent, Get Rich or Die Trying. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you big Fifty fan? Hell yeah, man. Lord Banks, Young Buck. I fought with all them guys, man, back in the day. So, mm-hmm. you know, Dipset, that boy Hair Real was going stupid back in the day, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, shout That's out to them guys, right. man. All right. Um. Around some of the first tracks you put out, um, how did you start? Did you record just the, I'm doing this for me, or did you always have a mind that you wanted to make music for other people? Um, shit, both, man. It just, it just, it just the feeling I was in. Like if I'm drinking, just turning up, I do it for us. But if I'm by myself recording, just, just sitting out writing, focus. You know, I just, I just do it for me. Same, same way it goes. I mean, me is for everybody, so. What in life motivates you to pick up a pen? Um, my mother struggled. Okay. Struggle my mama went through, you know. We, we we went through hard times growing up, so that's what motivated me the most. Right. You know, man, and shit. She is my motivation. Can you remember some of the first few raps you made? Mm-hmm. I remember, um, don't laugh. <laughs> you know, um, that Beyonce song, um, what was it, um, um, was it, was it Diva? Mm-hmm. She made it Diva? Mm-hmm. I remixed that into D-Boy. D-Boy is another, um, version of a hustler. Then that old Rick Ross, um, White House. I remember doing that. And, um, the rest is history. I really don't know. I just right. kept going through the pen and pad, man. I just, shit, just did it all, man. All right, who's some of your, uh, who your top three rappers are uh, since... Oh, you got into it till now. <clears throat> shit. No particular order, just three rappers. Who shit, that boy Skipper the Flipper, man. Jose Guapo. 
Um, and motherfucking Wayne. This is all time, like from then to now. Skip. Oh no, no. I mean, I mean, all time. I say Pop. I say Wayne, and I say that boy Jay Z. Okay, I'm gonna say ain't nothing wrong with. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I'm just just in don't say new. Yeah, hell yeah, man. I follow the trend. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, what type of beats do you like? Shit, hard trap beats, man. I like trap beats. Um. Why trap beats? Shit, man. I feel like. I feel like it reflect the struggle, man. When you hit that beat, you just go in on that shit. You feel me? So when that bass drop, yeah, boom, yeah. you just, you know what I'm saying? Just go in, however you go out, shit, go yeah. hard. I go dumb on that bitch. All trap beats remind me of a party and alcohol. <laughs> yeah, twerking. I love, I love, I love, I love women. I love, I love a little drinking. I don't right. smoke. I'm sober. I've been sober for like, going on at least about a year and a half. Now. I don't smoke weed. You know what I mean? But shit, man, the rest is history. I just like, it's like a little party. Yeah, 25, so. still a young nigga, man. Right, right. So, all right. right. I'm yeah. still young, man. Yeah, yeah. Young man, honey. Yeah, Black yeah, yeah. Um, how'd your first music video come about? Shit, man, I had a 40 and three cigarettes, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that fucking, that, nah, man, that future, that future track shit. Man, when I heard that shit, when I first heard that shit, man, I went done with that shit, man. I got down, I bought me a 40 of Bud Ice and went to the corner store and bought me three cigarettes, three looses. And shit, man, I put my headphones in. Shit, that shit took me like, ain't gonna lie, that shit took me like three hours. For real, man, because that shit was like two pages long. The front, the back, and another another front page, man. Shit, I was just drinking a 40, man, and it went dumb on that shit, man. Okay. For real, for real. I ain't, I ain't even think it was gonna get the reaction it did. Like, who shot the video? Uh, H. Wood. Mm. He, was, he was Imagine Empire. Okay, he from yeah. around here? Yeah, yeah, he from around here, but, oh, you know, he... He an up top cat, like like I think New York, or something like that. But I think he moved down here. But hey, yeah, shout out to Wood too, man, for that video. And um, it's in the studios down here that you like going to. Uh, I ain't I ain't really been to that upscale studio yet. Okay. I mean, um, when I recorded um some of my tracks, it was on a tour bus. It was on a bus in Halifax. Some young guys, um, Polo Gang. Okay. They you know what I'm saying he they recorded my track, so okay. I know it was alright. All right, give us one minute. We'll be right back. Got the sponsor get his uh, little drop in. See you in a second. Come check out Urban Ain't Clothing, where the hottest gear is at for men, women, and children with accessories, hats, snapbacks, sneakers. Come check us out at Urban Ain't Clothing, 917, Roanoke Avenue, Roanoke Rapids, two doors down for Burger King. All right, welcome back. I'm here with the homie, Slim Sosa, Roanoke Rapids, North Carolina. Um, now tell me... Uh, being on a tour bus and recording, starting out, yeah, like what man. was that like? A lot of ass and, and liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it one hundred, man. Them guys, man. I used to um this guy named Jay Green, man. We locked up. Like, um, I think, I think it was two thousand twelve. How you know what I'm saying? Um, we went to school together. Like um, I think it was middle school. And um, shit, I ain't seen this guy in a while, man. And he had a video shoot over here um uptown um. At a, at a clothing store. Okay. And I pulled up on them on the drop top. And then since then, man, we've been rocking with them guys and shit, man. We had a little fallout, but, you know, everything, you know, it ain't no beef. It ain't no beef. I mean, mm. you know, people have fallouts. How would you, because um, I didn't see the bio for you. What would your bio be? How would you describe yourself? Man, um, shit, all type of shit, man. Um, uh, niggas just trying to tell a story. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, Hey man, I don't know, man. I mean, I'm just trying. I'm just trying to get the meals, man. I'm just, right. you know, fame. Fame really just ain't really like my cup of tea. I mean, I just want the money. Right. You right. know what I mean? Right. So I guess you just, hey, money, money, yeah. money, money. How are you mentally prepared for doing shows, <clears throat> standing in the studio, like you, you, you start thinking about your goals yet? Yeah, man. Like shit, man. Pray God. God, God is the number one option. Anyway, man, like. If I'm going out in the show, man, I'm going to pray. We all get in one circle. We're going to pray. Everybody be safe. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Have fun, man. Just turn the crowd up. Turn that motherfucker off the roof. You know what right. I mean? And, um, yeah, I got goals, man. I mean, I'm just just trying to help my family out. Right. The most, man. Like, I'm you know what I'm, I'm the type of guy, man, I'd rather, I'd rather do, for, do for those who did for me. Right. You know, so it is what it is. Okay. Besides your music, um, 
Who are some of the other artists in your region that you listen to? You talking about like local? Yeah. <clears throat> um, I listen to Op. That's my brother. You know, um, I listen to um, you know, I listen to P. I listen to Dre. I listen to um, um, Frost. Okay. That guy going crazy. Um, yeah. Oh shit. Um, uh, my my little home with Rico, Rico, um, Hodges Town. Shout out to Hodges Town. That's my home neighborhood, man. Church Street, nineteen oh three. Um, the rest is history, man. I mean, I listen to everybody, man. You know, people who pe- people who fuck with me, I fuck with them, man. It just it just it's neutral, man. Mm-hmm. All right, um, about to drop this next mixtape. Yeah. What's the plan for this one? Um, uh, push it, I'm gonna push it, man. I'm gonna work, cause um, shit, man. I know, um. <clears throat> The first mistake I dropped, man, it's still, it's still songs that ain't nobody never heard from 2012 to 2013. I'm thinking like, shit, man. If I keep typing my SoundCloud in and put it on Twitter, somebody will listen to it. Somebody right. heard. it. It don't work like that, man. Right. You got to get out here and really move that shit, man. Grind it. Like, man, I'm going to start fucking with DJs, man. Okay. Like, man, I got I to gotta show the DJs respect, man, so they can just throw my shit on the radio sometimes or... Hitting more clubs, man. Hit more clubs, man. And I um, don't start fucking with the DJs. I was going to say, North Carolina, big as hell. My first month here, just looking around at all the small towns. Yeah, like, yeah. Wow. Like, hell I yeah. need to get out. I need to move. Hell I yeah. need to go see Greensboro. Hell Vegas, yeah. Bill. Greensboro's so. popping, man. Greensboro, Greensboro. It's popping. Mm-hmm. Like, especially going out there for, like, homecoming. Right. Yeah, I see the college. That shit popping. It's crazy. Dude. Yeah. Like, Shit, I stayed out in a couple dorm rooms, man. Man, the homies and shit. Man, I don't even think I went to sleep. I went to sleep, but it was in beds and shit. Like, girls, I need sleeping in their beds. I slept in their beds. I don't know where the hell they was at. But I got a little too drunk, man. Right. It's so shit, man. That's how it was, man. Just that shit popping. All right, this is my last question, but after this, I went off. Um, you mind doing a dope freestyle for me? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, I got you. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna get something dope at the end of this. All right, um, just okay. last joint, um. One of my staple questions, man. Um, if nobody never heard any of your music before, yeah. what's the first song you want to play for them and why? Um, shit. All on. <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, uh, shit. All on my like. You know, everybody gonna like what they like. Everybody gonna dislike what they dislike. So, um, but El Chapo, that shit hard. You know what I mean? I gave you an exclusive on it. You know what I mean? So, um, that shit go dumb, man. El Chapo. And then I got, um, then I got a new one. That shit called Bricks. Um, then I got one I think I'm gonna, um, since, since ain't nobody never heard that, I'll probably throw Wobble when she walk up there. You know what I mean? That's for the ladies, that's for the club, twerking, whatever, whatever you want to do with that. I think, I think I'm think i gonna push that to the, um, to the, to the DJs, man, and the clubs, man, and, um, that shit gonna rock out. But that out, but that out Chapo, El Chapo, that shit hard, though. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, that El Chapo shit yeah, hard. El Chapo nuts. Yeah, hell yeah. I can't wait for you. Yeah, yeah, you the first one to hear that. Yeah, hey, yeah, that shit, that shit hard. So be looking out for that, El Chapo. All right, look, thanks, brother. For oh yeah, down with oh me. yeah, already, already. Again, this is the homie from North Carolina, Romo Rapid, Slim Sosa. Yeah, it's your boy Fame. Here we go. You are a dope free sauce coming up. Hey, yo, what's poppin', man? It's your boy Slim Sosa, man. North Carolina Zone. This is URM Dope Freestyle. I got tracks today. I got bricks up in the bathroom. bathroom. And my nigga Seraphine's in the front room. Brick. I'm thinking harder. It's really bricks in his bathroom. Purchase up your the tracks coat. today. Show him that he a damn fool. We hit the spot, shake him, hate it so smooth. Bullet. Thank God for Instagram. That's how I know he had cooked bricks. Don't you post that shit on Instagram? Is he your meter fans? Either way, you gon' make the news. Purchase your tracks today. Cause you know this is a dirty world. Cops killing kids and you dollar upgrading my go chain. Wholesale it, then invest that shit into my name. Get in, get out, real nigga shit, boy. I'ma feed the fam. T-O-E-C for my squad, I'm gonna flip every ground. Don't blame my mama, that's my decision and who I am. Gas. I can't leave those kids alone like Will I am. Like David Ruffin, the nigga be cool running. Hey, purchase your Alec tracks Carlos today. So sick, get money, then the power. Ran out of soda, finesse the reports, he ran the flower. Bricks.